Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to a quick video on GTA 5 Next Gen. Now, I got this delivered yesterday. This is Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox One. Um, it's very hard to prove it, given that there aren't many two like visible changes in terms of like menus or whatever. Um, but here is the the start menu. I've just got to uh, restart the career mode. I don't know if the campaign needs to be restarted for everyone. I don't know whether when the servers are up, you'll be able to change it. But if we go to controls and settings, you can see here we have the first person option. Um, and basically I'm going to be giving you a little video just showing you the first person mode on the Xbox One. So if you press the uh, like the old select button, or now I don't know what they call it now, but the little two squares, um, you go into first person mode. So here it is here, and to be honest, I don't really like it. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is just giving you a little video demonstration of a mission done um, with this first person mode. So I'm going to drive to Simeon over here to get a mission started. Now, um, the first person mode doesn't work in cutscenes, of course, so when you go into a cutscene you will go to the usual um, third person mode, but when you are um, able to, it will you know, change to first person mode, like this. So it's pretty disorientating, um, but if you, you can look down, you can see your arms running. Um, it does look pretty cool, but again, I don't know, it, there's just something about it something about it. Um, it just feels a little bit like doom. Um, and the, the bobbing is horrible. So, starting the mission here. Uh, I won't play the whole cutscene of the mission just because uh, it's not exactly great you know, to watch, but you'll be able to see some of the new textures um, and some of the new geometry. So you can see the faces are a little bit more detailed. Character models have much higher resolution textures, but you may not even care. Uh, you may just want it on the Xbox One. Alright, okay, so back into first person mode, and you can see Shadow as well, there you go. So you are rendered as a whole character. Um, but let's just go and get a... I know what this feels like, it feels like Daisy. It's not very intuitive. Um, but we'll go over and get our car. So there you go, there's another thing. Things like reflections, the sun glare, looks so nice, so nice in this game. And I cannot wait for this to come out on PC. <laughs> That's all I can say really. Um, so interiors of cars are actually done pretty nicely. Uh, so this is the interior of the Comet, I think this is called the Comet, I don't really remember. Uh, but the Ford GT look alike. And you can see the radio is off there, if I was to turn the radio on, uh, I don't know if I've got enough to do it. There you go, it will change, which is pretty cool, but I hate having the radio on, it's just very distracting. The speedometer works, all things like that, you know, I'm pretty impressed with how they've actually made everything inside the car work for this first person mode. And things like visual quality haven't been sacrificed, which is very cool. So what I'll do is I'm just going to leave some gameplay here of me playing the, uh, the single player with first person mode. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discovered that you betrayed me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was going to get that back to you, y'all. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief.
just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking hell no, you're dead. Dead! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! He tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J-Dog, my niggas. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. The guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. Considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dawg, by the name of Simeon... Watch it! By the name of Simeon Terry. Oh so this businessman... He look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Situations, dog! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yateri. I'm within the lines of the law. You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. He agreed to financing. I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here. Uh. So there you go, there was GTA 5 on the Xbox One in first person mode. So, you know, it's not something I'm going to be doing personally. I mean, obviously a little bit more immersion, but other than that, it's it's more hassle than anything else because you can move your camera around, uh, but sometimes it doesn't move your body, so it, you know, it feels weird, but I don't know, it's up to you really. So one thing I'm going to add here is hold down and switch to Franklin just to show you the difference in speed. I've not actually done this before, so it'd be interesting to see. Oh my days. <laughs> okay, so if you've played it on the Xbox uh, 360, you'll know that that takes quite a while, where uh, on the Xbox One here, it's taken really no time at all. So there you are, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have anything else you want to see, then please feel free to leave it down below, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.